I don't understand this brain teaser and I'd like somebody to explain it to me. It's a beautiful little probability brain twister. Tongue twister? Brain teaser? So real quick, we have someone who tells us they've got two children. What are the chances at least one of them is a girl? But wait, no, they give us other information. At least one of their children is a boy born on a Tuesday. And for some reason, this seems to affect the probability that their other child is a girl. Welcome to the extremely counterintuitive world of probability. Let's first talk about why we should expect that additional information is going to change our probability calculation. Let's say Mary tells us she has some number of children, what are the chances at least one of them is a girl? In this scenario, we would have to model out, okay, if she has one child, there's a 50% chance that it's a girl. If she has two children, there's a 75% chance that at least one of them is a girl. If she has three children, there's an 87.5% chance, and so on. With each additional child, it's less and less likely that all of her children were boys, which is another way of saying it's more likely that at least one of them was a girl. These outcomes I'm talking about, one out of two chances if she has one child, three out of four chances if she has two children, this is in reference to what we call the sample space, basically the list of possible outcomes. If she has exactly two children, then there are four possible outcomes. Both of them are girls, one is a girl and one is a boy, or both of them are boys. But if she has three children instead, the sample space changes. There would now be eight different possible outcomes and different combinations of girls and boys. So for sure it seems relevant to tell us how many children she has. The first calculation in this problem we can actually model in the sample space here. If we're already told that one of them is a boy, we can actually ignore the girl-girl scenario entirely. So among these three scenarios where at least one of them is a boy, we can see a girl shows up twice and two out of three is 66%. So given just that information that she has two children and at least one of them is a boy, we should expect the other to be a girl roughly 66% of the time. When we're given a piece of information like, oh, I have a boy and he was born on a Tuesday, it changes the sample space. The way that we're selecting now is not simply, oh, either we have a girl or we have a boy, but we have a girl and she's born on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or we have a boy born on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then of course the other child same thing. That actually leads to a sample space with 196 possible outcomes. I know it's too small to see in the video, but I've highlighted here if we focus on the outcomes where a boy was born on a Tuesday, we can see there are 27 of those. And out of those 27 outcomes, 14 of them have the other child being a girl, born on some particular day. It's that 14 out of 27, or 51.9%, that gives us our true answer to this particular probability.